Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Tyla, thanks for tuning in for today's Talk With Ty Tuesday. So today's topic is all about how to increase your productivity and to be more productive. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned and let's get into these tips. Okay, so tip number one, and this is very important, which is why it's number one and people don't take this serious and I guess, you know, they don't really think about this, but it's eating healthy and making sure that you're having your breakfast and putting proper foods into your body because if you're not eating properly you're not giving your body the energy that it needs to keep you going and to keep moving and to do what you got to do throughout the day like how do you expect to get this 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 and this done and you're not even eating or you're eating bad foods at that you need the energy you need to make sure especially breakfast breakfast is the most important meal of the day literally um, I even struggle with that because I am not a breakfast person, like, honestly. But that's what happens when you don't eat breakfast for so long. Your body gets used to not eating in the morning, which is not okay. Your brain works differently when you eat and when you don't eat. You're sluggish. Like, you're not functioning the way that your body needs to be functioning. So make sure that you are eating breakfast, that you're eating healthy breakfast, that you're putting um, nutritious foods into your body, foods that give you life and things like that so that you can get everything done and you'll be ready and set for your day and you'll have the energy to do so so that's tip number one tip number two and tip number two is planning which is so important as well because if you want to be more productive and increase your productivity you need to make sure that you are setting schedules for yourself that you are planning that you're writing things down so that you can make sure that you stay on track of everything which is going to help everything to flow so much better if you know that you have all of this stuff to get done but you don't know where to start so you're like getting this done and then you're like all right let me just do this and then you know back and forth back and forth like you're not going to get as much done you're not going to be as productive because you have no schedule you you have no like set you know way of how you're going to get things done throughout the day what i personally like to do is i like to set schedules for like the week like i make my weekly goals i make my daily goals as well and for my daily goals i plan it the day before so that the next day when i wake up i'm set i'm ready i know what i'm doing i know what i'm working on and i can get things done that really helps to increase your productivity. So I highly would recommend getting a planner. I also like to use my notes app, works like a charm. You don't even need a planner if you're not about that life, but I personally, I like to write. So I got this one. Um, I don't remember where I got this. I think I just got it at Walmart. Usually I get the one at Michael's and I think it's called the Happy Planner. I love those planners. They're expensive, but they're worth it because you can do so much and they're just really nice. But this one I really love. This one is the Blue Sky Planner, and yeah, I love planners. You can write everything that you need to, all your goals, um, the things that you have to get done for the day, and all of that good stuff. I also have a whiteboard, so I'll show you guys my whiteboard. Um, on that, I use it basically as a calendar, so if I know that I have events coming up, or shoots, or whatever else, you know, the case is that I have coming up, I can write that on my calendar and yeah so we're just people at the end of the day we can't really hold so much in our head it's easier and best to just get out everything that you need and write it onto paper and have it somewhere that is stored so that you can easily just go back read over it see what you got to do and get it done at the end of the day which also frees space in your mind so that you can focus better and be more productive so that's tip number two so i have one last tip these are my three main tips and if you do these three things like literally you're gonna be set i promise um but the last one is discipline so discipline is important because at the end of the day you can set all these goals you can say that you're gonna do this and do that but if you're not disciplining yourself then in those moments when you're lacking and you feel like you're not really feeling like doing it you know you're just setting yourself back you have to make sure that you are disciplining yourself enough to like push yourself in those moments when you feel like man i don't really feel like doing that today like but I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna do it. And that's not to say to disregard your self-care. If you are having just a really off day and your mental space is not in the right you know, place, especially as a creator, like when you're like in music or art or dance or painting, you know, like with those type of careers and um, things, you have to make sure that you're mentally there because it's a creative outlet. You have to make sure that you're inspired, that you have that inspiration and not being inspired can sometimes throw it off so i don't recommend you know forcing yourself 
if you're just not in the mood to do it and you're just having a bad day make sure that you set aside self-care days which is couldn't be another tip honestly at least one day you know like for me it's sundays i have self-care sundays so every sunday i'll make sure that i take time to do some self-care i like to go out in nature i like to do my yoga meditate i do those things every morning as my morning routine but on sunday i go really like deep into those things bubble baths um skincare all of that good stuff and just do things that i enjoy netflix all that other stuff but yeah just make sure that you are disciplining yourself so that in those times when you know for a fact that you can push through and do it you push through and do it don't be lazy you know don't let yourself down like that like you got goals you got dreams you got things that you want to accomplish make sure that you're sticking to it and that you are being there for yourself and you are putting forth the effort for yourself and for your future at the end of the day so yeah but that is it for this video i love you guys um i wish you guys so much luck on your journey and whatever it is that you are doing if you're not already follow me on instagram i will follow you back and let's support each other and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up try out these tips i promise you guys it's literally gonna change your whole like everything like if you do these things these three well four things i promise you'll see a huge difference but thank you for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out. <laughs>